Hello everyone, this is Dan Trodan, chef from an internationally recognized server and research and security blogger, OSINT analyst and threat intelligence gathering analyst. I'm currently running, running one of the security industry's most popular security publications, which is my personal blog. It's called Dan Trodan, chef blog, mine streams of information, security knowledge, where I managed to attract approximately 5.6 million, pa million page views since its original start back in December 2005. Well, I was busy acting as a managing director and running the infamous astavavista.com portal. Uh, my current position is a DNS threat researcher as, uh, at uh, who is, uh, who is uh, HML uh, API since uh, January 2021, where well, I've been producing a variety of high quality and ever published and discussed uh, before cyber and research case studies, which you can find at our company uh, webs, uh, at our company's website, which is HTTPS. Uh, slash uh, who is HTML API.com, and I've decided to record a video manual demonstration uh, discussing in depth and offering the necessary technical details behind uh, the reason in fraud, cyber crime friendly form of community organization bust, where multiple uh, cyber criminals behind the website uh, were finally brought to justice with over a decade of uh, media echo effect achieved. Due to the enormous popularity of the infant organization, Cybercam Friendly Forum community across the entire, the, across the, the entire Cybercam ecosystem. In this one hour tutorial, I will be using Martego in combination with uh, my personal OSINT research and technical collection gathering met methodology, including the fact that I've been uh, sitting on a treasure trove of actionable intelligence on infant gang for uh, a while, uh, where the ultimate goal uh, was to communicate my uh, technical findings to who is. Uh, HML APIs, audience and specific users and readers interested in learning more behind the internet creative infrastructure of the infrared organization. Mm. Uh, let's start from the basics, which in this uh, case include active dossier building technique and methodology, which I've established throughout the years, and specifically the actual monitoring of some of the primary domains behind the gang's online operations, including one of the primary IP internet uh, address. Uh, which uh, leads us to uh, use several high profile and extremely relevant community and vendor based services for the purpose of reaching the actual domain and internet, uh, and internet uh, address information, potentially exposing the, uh, the entire internet connected infrastructure of in front of cyber crime gang. Uh, let's start from the basics by uh, basically feeding back a set of uh, infrared related uh, domain name into the extremely uh, popular Maltigo tool, which I'm uh, currently doing. Apology, this was uh, a minor uh, mistake on my behalf. Okay, so here we go. Here are some of the primary domains of the infrared organization, which I managed to obtain throughout the years. Mm, I've been uh, actively uh, collecting uh, these uh, domains using open source uh, uh, intelligence. I've also managed to identify some of the key uh, Email address, personal email address account behind some of the primary members of the infot organization, including one of their primary internet uh, address, uh, where the, they used to host uh, uh, one of their uh, primary uh, domain back in uh, the day. Uh, what uh, I will be uh, doing next is that, is, uh, that I will be uh, demonstrating who is uh, HO API's uh, uh, features in particular. Uh, what we will be doing is uh, we will be uh, using our historical who is uh, records database for the purposes of establishing the foundations for successful cyber uh, attack campaign attribution including internet infrastructure uh, based attribution uh, attack campaign. Uh, let's uh, wait uh, there for a moment. Mm. By the time we actually end up uh, with the uh, results in this particular case, uh, what we will be uh, doing uh, next is to actually look for the uh, one of uh, the key important uh, piece of information that uh, we need for the purpose of this case study, which is the registrant uh, email address, which based on our vast and in-depth uh, database of real-time and uh, historical who is uh, data and information could uh, really assist current and ongoing uh, investigations, both personally and both uh, by uh, who is HTML API uh, uh, user that also includes uh, law enforcement and uh, uh, probably uh, US based or international intelligence agencies who might be looking uh, uh, forward and actually uh, might be interested in digging uh, a little bit uh, deeper into the internet connecting infrastructure 
of the of the Red Gas internationally. Okay, now that we have uh, established uh, the actual historical uh, who is uh, records for these domains, including the actual uh, uh, search for the address and email address. What we will be doing next is to actually find uh, this uh, email address account. We will be trying to separate them in a uh, separate uh, cluster of activity where we will be looking for additional clues. Once again, using uh, QS HTML API's uh, infrastructure and vast database of uh, historical and uh, real time uh, based uh, who is uh, information. Okay, so what we got here is uh, we got one uh, of the, the registered email address accounts which is uh, using uh, who is privacy uh, guard type of service. We also got another one which we don't really need for this purpose, including another one. And we got uh, uh, to some pretty important uh, email address accounts, which are personal email address accounts, which have been used to register uh, some of the primary uh, domains used by the infront organization. What we will be doing now is to actually uh, do a reverse uh, who is search in terms of finding out all the currently registered domains by the same group of uh, individuals and organizations that uh, are running and maintaining the infront organization. And we will eventually looking for additional clues in terms of finding out additional domains and uh, here we uh, go we already got uh, ccbv2dumps.com uh, which is pretty obvious and uh, leads us to an online uh, issue for stolen credit cards uh, information uh, we also will continue looking for additional clues in terms of uh, domain registrations uh, with this uh, domain name with this uh, personal email address uh, account uh, we will be uh, continuing uh, to do this. This time using uh, Who is HTML API's uh, historical reverse uh, Who is search, which has uh, huge potential to expose all the currently all the uh, domain names that are known to have been registered by the same set of individuals that originally registered the original infraud uh, organization domains. Uh, this is uh, pretty interesting, mostly because uh, here we go. Uh, we've uh, already uh, managed to find an additional set of, uh, uh, of uh, domains which, uh, as uh, you can see, are pretty interesting and pretty uh, obvious. Uh, these are online e-shops uh, for strong credit card information which are registered by the same individuals that are not to have been registering, the, that, that are not to have uh, registered to the infraud uh, forum uh, domains. Uh, here we uh, go with uh, another uh, set of uh, domains. This time uh, uh, we'll be uh, looking for additional uh, clues in terms of uh, finding out additional uh, domain names that are uh, not have been operated by uh, the gang. And uh, here we go with another set of uh, uh, domains, which, uh, as you can see, basically represent all one in source of strong credit card data and information. Okay. So uh, now that we have uh, established the foundations for a successful mapping and uh, uh, reconnaissance of the internet-based uh, infrastructure of the infront organization, uh, we will be once again uh, continuing uh, this case study, this time with an uh, internet uh, address that uh, is known to have been uh, uh, used uh, by uh, the actual infront organization for the purpose of uh, uh, running uh, uh, the, the actual forum domain. In this particular case, we will be uh, running on a technique known as passive DNS. In this case, we'll be, uh, we just uh, use Farsight uh, Security's uh, passive uh, DNS uh, search service, which uh, is uh, uh, already returning some pretty impressive and uh, interesting results. What we've got here is yet another uh, portfolio of rock and fraudulently uh, registered uh, domains courtesy of the, of the, the actual uh, gang uh, that has been operated default organization which uh, uh, as you can see are pretty interesting and uh, can eventually lead us to additional clues as to the uh, real uh, uh, intentions and uh, whereabouts of the default organization. Uh, I wanted to take the time and effort uh, to say a big thanks to everyone who's been listening to this uh, manual video tutorial courtesy of uh, Midanto Dungeon for, for uh, who is HTML API. 
Uh, thank you and uh, stay tuned for additional set of manuals, uh, training guides and tutorials using Mortego in uh, the very uh, short term. Thank you. Goodbye.